Hi, my name is Rachel. Welcome back to another YouTube video. So I just finished up my master's degree in education. So I'm going to get back on YouTube with my weekly uploads and I'm in comp prep right now. So I finished my master's and I started comp prep at 11 weeks out. So let's just go ahead and hop right into the video. So this is essentially the highlight reel of what I presented my master's on fostering positive math identities by empowering students to take ownership over their learning. I started with the classroom context definition of my long-term goal, lesson plan, rationale. These are all of my data sources. I had continuum pre and post. I had an equation poster with three different sections, metacognitive exit ticket, video analysis, pre -inter student interviews, pre and post. These are all the criteria that I analyzed for my long-term goal. This is the overall flow of the lesson students math identity continuums before and after the lesson students interviews before and after the lesson metacognitive exit ticket some specific examples from the video analysis a specific student work sample from the three column workspace partner a on the left partner b on the right their shared space in the middle and peer feedback on the bottom some important takeaways sorry my dog is trying to get in the way and then some next step and implications and then of course references so as much as it is exciting to be done with my master's degree and everything especially since this was a career change for me i originally graduated with my undergraduate degree in criminal justice when i was 21 now i am 27 so quite a lot of time has transpired between me finishing my undergraduate degree and now my graduate degree but it's really bittersweet because i truly did love every single second of going to uc davis the education was amazing the campus was beautiful the people were amazing so it is sad to kind of close this chapter but it's good to be moving forward and I'll be able to focus on other things I'm passionate about and just expanding and growing in other areas. So those are my final closing thoughts on finishing up my master's degree and I'll hop right into all of the competition prep things now. So since I did end up finishing a whole training block since I've last posted a video, I'll go ahead and overlay some of the highlights from that block as I'm doing this little mini voiceover to recap it. So anyways, I did end up having a very successful training block. I hit some PRs in squat, bench and deadlift however week four i was going to push out some more squat and deadlift prs however my body started sending me some warning signs that i really needed a deload so thank goodness i listened to those warning signs and now day one of comp prep i'm feeling amazing you always need to listen to your body especially when you're going to start a comp prep when you're putting your body through strenuous very heavy weights and it's going to build to a one rep max the last thing you want is a body that is injured so even though it was very minor um it's a really good thing that i did pull back because now i'm feeling amazing but if i didn't pull back then i might have ended up resulting in an injury and then obviously that's all bad so so happy i did that throughout this week i'm just going to show some random like competition prep thoughts there's not really a lot that goes into competition prep when you're powerlifting. Like you're pretty much just carrying on as usual until you get to those last final few weeks when it starts to get really heavy and the intensity starts to increase. But I'm super excited, so I'll show you some random fitnessy things this week. But anyways, I'll see you in the next clip. All right, here's a classroom clip. I'm trying not to live in countdown land, but I feel like since we're getting towards the end of the school year, it's the fourth quarter. I've been living in countdown land a little bit more than I would like. Right now, I know that there are 12 days until spring break, and there are 9 weeks and 2 days until summer, <laughs> but I'm going to try to focus on taking it a day at a time, just to not overwhelm myself. But anyways, I'll jump back into the rest of the video. So as I mentioned earlier, I am 11 weeks out from my next competition, and I am super excited about it. I had triples at RP6 on all three lifts. So right here you see me doing my top set of three at 205 pounds. This was done on Saturday. My bench day that you'll see next was done on Sunday and my deadlift day was done on Monday. So I have all my primary days always on those days. And then my volume days, which you'll see after are on Wednesdays and Thursdays. This was my top triple at 140 pounds on bench. It also moved really well. And I was happy that I picked appropriate weights without overshooting because the last thing you want to do is start too high especially when you're in competition prep and I messed up on filming my camera actually died so that's why I have a split screen because it would have been really awkward to just show 
the vertical phone angle in the middle. But anyways, three reps at 286 pounds and it moved really, really well, especially considering last block, I only went up to four at 292 pounds and this is only week one. So I was pleasantly surprised with that. And as I mentioned, my volume days are in the middle of the week. This was on Wednesday. I had a top set of six safety bar squats at 160 pounds. And then I also had some belt squats. Before this block, I was doing 1.5 SSB squats and now I'm doing belt squats. It was actually a very nice change up and I haven't done these in a while. So I was feeling a lot of good muscular hypertrophy. Hypertrophy is still important when you're in competition prep, especially being 11 weeks out. If you're only doing singles at 11 weeks out, then you're kind of gonna not peak appropriately because you're gonna be not getting a much volume built up before you get into that peak. So you'll notice that I'm still doing a lot of volume as I go through every single week of my competition prep. And now I'm just showing you some bench things. So I hit six at 130 pounds on my secondary bench day that was on Thursday. I had close grip eights on my tertiary bench, which was on Wednesday. I had incline bench, which I haven't ran in a while either for sets of eight at forties. And then I'm just throwing in some random upper body exercise, but I'm going to cut the video off right here. So I'll go back into my closing thoughts and I'll see you in the next segment. And just to wrap up this video, just to make it relatable to anyone who may be watching this, I know I talked about how this was a career change for me going back to graduate school and everything. I worked as a police officer and as much as it did allow me to challenge myself and really grow in a lot of different areas, it really kind of drained the energy from my soul and I'm so happy that I went back and made that change for myself. If you are considering changing your life, going in a different direction, it's never too late. You can always grow and you can always expand, never get complacent. So hopefully that can be a good takeaway for this video. Anyways, I will catch you next week for my next week of competition prep. Thank you so much for watching today's video and I'll see you in the next one.